Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sub LBC here doing another video episode of Growing for Freedom. And I figured since we're going to be spending a lot of time working on a lot of the nursery resources here at our main headquarters location, I might as well pop in and just give everyone a little update as to what's been going on since uh, we've upgraded these reflectors. Now obviously for all you guys that have not been following along, we were basically running LEDs in this tent for a while and the results were not entirely great. You know, at best they were mixed. At worst, uh, you know, generally not very happy with the LEDs, especially given the cost. And obviously since then decided to upgrade to four six inch cool tube reflectors uh, being powered by the Cap Extreme Nano 600 watt dimmable digital ballasts, which I believe happen to be the smallest dimmable digital of this wattage range. And I really, really love this setup, especially for tents. You know, given the very low weight of the reflectors and the very uh, small size and weight of the nanos, you can essentially keep everything enclosed very easily and it's just a dream to work on, guys. I really do love this setup. And uh, obviously a lot of things has changed in here since we've taken all the small plants out. Remember here on this right hand side is where we had all of the new mother plants for the third nursery. We had some kryptonites, Mendo Afgus, Blue Dreams, and some SFVOGs. But now that all those plants have been moved over to the new location, we've essentially taken the four remaining kryptonite mothers that were on the left, left hand side, and now we're going uh, one mother plant per reflector. And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, you can see these plants are just getting absolutely humongous. And I want to let everyone know that currently all the reflectors are on maximum output, although I do not generally run them this way. I just have them turned up like that just to make the video a little bit easier to see. But uh, generally what I'm doing at this point is I'm keeping all the, these three mother plants at the 50% setting, which is 300 watts, and then running this single plant here, uh, you know, kind of toggling between 75% and 100% mode. And the main reason why I'm doing that is you can see that this plant here on the right is just a little bit shorter than the rest. So I did want to give it some preferred lighting to kind of catch it up. But you can see guys that these plants are just getting absolutely huge. They just have the most ridiculous stalks uh, going on them right now guys. I mean seriously these things are just absolutely out of control. Every single one of these plants, you know, you know I'm almost a little bit worried at the fact that they might completely overroot these root maker pots. And even though they are designed to somewhat root prune, I mean damn guys they're just getting huge. And we're probably not going to be cutting these plants again until Monday. Um, I know that on Friday is going to be the day after harvest and we're going to be chopping down the SFVOGs obviously to get a lot of cuttings. But I don't know if I want to cut these just yet. You know I actually want to let them go a little bit longer to get just ultra huge and then we'll go ahead and cut them really aggressively and then kind of see how they regrow. And then you know obviously we can start comparing production numbers between you know running the LEDs the way we did before with two plants per and then comparing it to just running single massive mother plants under each reflector. And keep in mind guys that these uh, HPS systems, the way I'm using them, are consuming less wattage than the LEDs, LEDs do on average. You know, most of the time these things are generally toggling between 50 and 75 percent. Very rarely am I running any of these reflectors at their full output setting. So very, very efficient usage of electricity. And the only real concern that I've got about this setup here at this point is vertical height. I'm kind of regretting the fact that these uh, reflectors came with the rope, you know, cable style, you know, if they actually came with the triangles, I would have been able to gain a few more inches. And I'm thinking about maybe, you know, clipping these cables shorter and, uh, you know, reattaching the little stoppers here and, and trying to shorten them up and maybe gain like, you know, another four to five, maybe even six inches of additional vertical height, you know, essentially closing the distance between the ballasts and the reflectors because, you know, I do want this to be a fixed height system and basically running as tall as possible because if these reflectors are as high as they can be, and I'm running 2400 watts, uh, you know, that's so much light, guys, especially given the reflective properties here of the tent. So I really don't need to be lowering these reflectors. I'd like to get them as high as possible and just leave them there. But uh, that's some stuff that I'll do a little bit later. You know, it's not a huge deal right now, obviously, with the, uh, the kryptonites being fairly short growing. But, you know, if these plants are able to stay here a lot longer, there's a very good chance that vertical height could become an issue over the course of the next month or two. Um, if these plants survive that long. So it's something that probably is going to have to be addressed or you know at least be, I have to give it some thought about what I might have to do if we get to that bridge. But 
Again, you know, that's maybe about a, a month or so away, so we'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, like I said, I just want to give you guys a chance to see how these plants are doing. And uh, obviously, compared to the LED guys, they are doing great. So, you know, again, it's more hard evidence that's really demonstrating that the LED system is just inferior to HPS-based setups. Um, even given their advantages and some of their versatility, which is nice, um, you know, it, when it comes down to it, guys, when you're looking for just pure absolute performance, nothing will touch the, uh, the HID system. Um, nothing at all, you know what I'm saying? And this stuff, guys, cost a fraction of what brand new LED equivalent water systems would cost. So that pretty much closes the book, I think, on the LEDs. And if they continue to, to give lackluster performance over the third nursery location, they're fucking gone. You know, those things are going to go on eBay and, you know, maybe there'll be some, you know, LED proponent out there who think he's getting a great deal. But <laughs> that's not going to be my problem anymore. But in any case, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching the video. More updates to come, as always. And uh, stick around. I will see you guys next time.